hyperspace building the electromagnetic grid the donut mirror the subconscious mind reflections program war language symbolism project monarch protectors Shiva Mukha you're in therapy sun gazing fasting feasting the electromagnetic avatar system software and hardware and how to put this all together through the melanin process through the occultum the antimatter sits in the skull so building the matrix grid as a responsibility for everybody who is involved in it now I would say that I am one of the protectors of the Dharma one of the so to say watchmen who observes the watchers so one of the towers I'm one of the towers to protect humanity against these forces because in the end these pro projections into matter that we see are not even here so we have to become aware of the state of mind that we are in because this is what reflects outside and this is basically what only occurs because if you know you never move you never really go anywhere on this grid system then you start to develop your higher senses your hyperspace ability to construct reality so This is basically spiritual or esoteric warfare that we're in right here, right now. But not many beings really understand what World War One, World War Two was, and what basically World War Three is that we're right in right now. Because it's about your state of mind. It's about your spirituality. It's about your mind space, and this is everything that reflects. So as you hear my voice. You know if I know, and I know if you know, because it's a reflection in between. That's what consciousness is. And this deep fake, basically, on the YouTubes and on the the internets, on the mirrors. I don't like to say numbers, but a lot of numbers, a lot of mirrors that you see there are not even real. That's deep fake. So that's that. That's the keep you keep you numbed down in the matrix illusion because the real science is the science the symbolism in front of you it's not scientific it's not science it's about symbolism it's about occult esoteric knowledge it's about colors it's about smells it's about resonance it's about tone frequency And this is why the real s ports is meditation or is cultivation all cultivation to all to to show the real thing that sits in your skull so you become transparent you become transparent everything that you have inside of you will mirror out urine helps a lot with that that's why it's that's why it's called orion or Orion's belt so we come from literally the star system and this is why pyramids are built all over the world 
because you are the pyramid. Triangle moving up, triangle moving down. Put it together so you get the Star of David. So it's the male energy and the female energy fused together, black and white, so you get gray brain matter. So constructing the matrix grid, constructing hyperspace in a natural format as it should look and as, as it always looked. So this is how it would naturally balance itself out. Now, basically everything that we humans then also tend to do is also na natural because we come out of nature. So it's all a natural process. But, so to say, if you connect yourself to your original self, and this has something to do with alchemy, with cooking, your own avatar, through fasting, through movement, move mind, then you would start to see that you see these reflections in front of you, so you could eventually realize what this realm is. It's a reflection. Basically, it's a dream state. Hmm. And symbolism, libels, libels, are they, are they called libels? Over there. Oh no, it, got, it, got, it would not like to show itself to this. And I understand. So I'm the tower, the chaos magician, but also the law, the law eater. To hold everything in place, you know, and to reconstruct the matrix grid what it really is through esoteric tone resonance and symbolism and color my auric field to make literally a better world it's when the 42 laws of my app come into place when 33 Christ consciousness CC comes into place shamans come into place you know, funny enough, basically what all these science, scienti scientists were doing They tried to copy and explain the knowledge which our ancestors, for example the Ainu from Japan um, from the, I think it's the Dogu age in northern Japan and take a look into that the Dogu age take a look into um, the statues from there small legs thick legs thick legs small kind of in in comparison to the rest of the body the the, the stomach is kind of um, curved very small in appearance some of them have basically like a pirate only one leg and then they have a massive not a massive head but they have two massive eyes which are closed you have connection to your ancestors connection to maybe other races see and this is basically intergalactic diplomacy so to say because you know if you come from a different country you have a different culture that's fine for me if you come from a different planet you also have a different language you have a different appearance but hey you would still have a certain color code you would still have a certain resonance you would still have certain symbolism so this is basically universal now if we can then decode that if you just Feel and listen to your intuition. You will feel, no matter where you are in the universe, what kind of language you have. I'm here to unify it. And then it's like, you know, we don't like to unify, we like would like to, to live by our own. And hey, that's great for me, you know, it's great for you. Kemet, 
in Africa, the Aborigines in Australia, Latin America, the, A the Aztecs, the Mayas, uh, the Indian people, the Native Americans, you know. Um, hey, all these races have great cultures. So in outer space, if there is a liberty in outer space, but I would say so. This is Earth realm, and then we have different planetary systems. But yeah, so diplomacy between different universal constructs and putting it together through resonance. Not like putting it together, but linking it up. And if we have certain links, then we have certain diplomacy states between each other. You know, and then non-violence is something that I'm referring to a lot, a lot. Let me tell you this. Alchemy, resonance, movement. If you would like to move, if you would like to hit something, I mean, exhaust yourself, you know. Do shadow boxing because it's shadow work. I'm not here to punish anybody. That's stupid to me. You know, I'm one of the more of the technique guys. This is why I'm also a program moir. Because I I decode and I I rip apart basically the different symbols and different languages and different codes so we get to the essence the essence is color tone resonance symbols universal language so in these humble words everybody take care get into sun gazing get out in the sun do some Shivamukalpa for longevity and wise dome, a wise head. Get out in the sun, move your body, relax, have tolerance in your heart, acceptance, compassion, love, and speak truthful, be truthful, and say nothing but only resonate with your own self.